guys, I'm at the All Powers booth and for some reason my audio keeps uh, having issues. I've talked to these guys twice already and they've kind of explained everything to me uh, as best as they could. Uh, it's, it's a little surprising. Uh, there's a lot of information that they're not really able to tell me. But this is the R4000 unit and it has a 3600 watt hour battery or a 4800 watt hour battery. Now I'm not sure if that's a battery chemistry thing that you get to choose and so you have a different capacity. But from what they're telling me, it's basically like a base model and then like a plus model where you can have more battery in the main unit as it is. And then it has a 4,000 watt inverter built into here with up to 2,000 watts of wall charging and 2,000 watts of solar charging. Now this does have level one and level two EV charging, but they said it uh, even on level two, it's only up to 2,000 watts of wall charging speed. So you can do 120 or, two, or 240 on here and you can put up to six of these units together. So you'd have one master unit and then five slave units, which allows you to expand up to of almost 22 kilowatt hours of battery. And so it's a little unclear why you could have a max of 22,000 or 21.6 kilowatt hours of battery when one of these units can also do 4,800 watt hours. Maybe there's different specs there, I don't know. Overall, this looks like a really powerful unit for just a single unit. I don't necessarily wanna to have to pay for an inverter and charge controller when I'm buying extra equipment because then I'm paying for equipment that I'm not gonna be using since you'd have one master unit and the rest would be slave units. And so I wonder if they'll change that, if they'll just have expanded batteries, but for right now they said they're not planning on doing that. Now this one here will have app control so you can control it remotely. And then they've got this bigger system back here, it's called the S3500 and it's gonna pair with the B3000 batteries. Each one of those looks very similar to like an AC300 from Bluetti or even the Delta Pro from EcoFlow. Very similar, but it's a stacking battery option where the batteries are about 3,000 thousand watt hours each and then the main unit itself has a 3200 watt hour battery with a 3000 watt inverter you can connect two of them together so you can get 240 volt split phase power and run the house now what's unique about that one is you can actually attach it to your house you can kind of see in the picture here you integrate it with your electrical panel and then with that you're going to be able to offset your electricity bill so let's say your electricity costs the most from 4 to 9 p.m well, you can use this to run your house for those five peak hours. And so that way you're recharging the system when the electricity costs much less. So this is a big deal for people in California and states that have variable prices on their electricity. They said you could add up to 17 pieces together. I'm not sure how that works out, but you could have two main units and then 15 extra batteries. The left, they've got what's basically their power kit, which is a 7,000 watt inverter and has 5,000 watt hour batteries. And you can stack those together and make a home system. Same thing, it's able to offset your electricity bill. You can use solar panels with it. And I believe you're actually able to take that extra power and send it to the grid I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but it seems like that's what they were saying. So that way you can reduce your electricity bill that way as well. I may be needing correction on that. And then they've got another big white unit over here in the corner that's an OEM, which basically means other brands can put their own brand on it. And, and so they're basically doing white labeling, which a lot of these companies do. They're powerful 5,000 watt hour batteries with a really powerful top, and you can take your house uh, off grid or do grid tie. Uh, you know, net metering integration. So a lot of big things coming from all powers. I'll be anxious to see how their customer service works out because that's where I've had a major issue in the past. I did review their monster unit in the past and definitely had some issues there. So maybe this is when they're gonna make their stride and do something uh, a little bit more reliable. So I hope to see that from all powers and hopefully I'll be able to get these units in and do some reviews as with pretty much everything uh, all the different solar generators I've seen here. I definitely want to test them in person because you guys know at poweredportablesolar.com, that's all I do is recommend what I would personally use and don't recommend what I wouldn't use. I don't try to give any recommendation until I've actually used it and know that it works. And if I do find an issue with something, then I'm gonna take it off the site as well. So that way you always know it's a safe place to find what you're looking for. And of course, you can always reach out to us at info at poweredportablesolar.com to get any more info to find out what you need. But overall, the R4000, the S3500, and the R7000 are new units that are coming out from all powers. And they're saying they should be available between like April and June. Hopefully it'll be really good and we'll just see how it takes over in the market. I don't know if you guys saw my video on the Alpha ESS. Uh, it did have a couple of kinks, but Alpha ESS is working on those. And I'm really surprised to see them here. It's pretty cool that 
they're trying to stay on top of the game. So I wanna go over and check them out and see if they're bringing anything new to the market or if they've got just basic good systems for everybody. So let's go ahead and check it out. They definitely seem to be advertising more towards the camping niche. They've got some bigger units here as well as their other smaller units like the one that I tested. I think they're definitely more focused on power out in the outdoors rather than necessarily power at home. They look like they've got a pretty big unit here that I haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and take a look. It looks like this is the Black B2000 unit. My guess is it's going to be about a 2000 watt inverter and a 2000 watt hour battery. Very similar to like the AC200 Max as far as the charging stations up top. And it's nice that it comes with a trolley because these do get pretty heavy. And as always, I'm looking for the max solar input. So I see 12 volts right here. So it says 600 watts input for solar for DC input. And I'm not sure if it has the option to add in a battery. There is a open spot back here so here we can see there's some openings on the back so it looks like we have our wall charging and two solar inputs so it's going to be 1200 watts solar input the dc input is 600 watts each one 12 to 45 volts and 10 amps on each solar input and then down here it looks like we just have storage for all the cables that's actually a really nice feature because it is a pain in the butt to keep track of that stuff it does say here it is 1200 watts of wall charging, 2200 watt hour battery. So looks like another portable power station that is very similar to others, but could be what you need. All right, so I'm at CEA's booth right now. Now this is a pretty massive solar generator. They're calling it a portable solar generator because it's got wheels and this huge rack. Now it's got a 5000 watt inverter and a 5000 watt hour battery. And it's also got 5,000 watts of solar input. And so it's a very impressive system. You can put two of these together so you can get split phase power. Their manual here has pretty much all of the information. The system is quite robust from what it looks like. And they've got all the outlets on the front, a big screen up here. Uh, they've got all the USB, RV plugs. And it's got these adjustable handles here on the back. And so the handles, I mean, it's really a quite a large system, but just like you would see with the normal large generator uh, for your house, like a gas one, you got this so you can wheel it around. And it's basically got like a roll cage on it. So very robust. I could definitely see this being used in like a construction area because it's so robust. I could definitely take a beating. I'm not sure if there's any outdoor ratings on how this would last outside. It's definitely a very big, very powerful unit. So I'm at the Eulerwit booth. I think I'm saying that right. This is uh, a part of the Omni Hero, uh, basically solar and battery company. And they've got a number of options here. So this is a new power station. I believe this is called their E2200 Pro. I may need to correct that. But what's neat about this is it's got a 2200 watt hour battery, 2000 watt inverter, but it can add up to three more of these expansion batteries. So you can basically get about nine kilowatt hours of battery capacity total which is very impressive for a unit like this, but you need to know that it's only got about 400 watts of solar input, so it, it is lacking on the solar input. If you needed a portable power station that's got expandability as far as batteries go, then that's an option, but that solar is definitely lacking. They've got some of these stackable batteries here, which look really interesting, and, and basically, they've got them up on these shelves here, but they have to have them spaced out because of the weight on the walls. And you can stack up to 10 of these batteries together, and each one of them is basically 5,000 watt hours. So you can get a total of about 50 kilowatt hours, actually over 50 kilowatt hours, which would be an absolutely massive system. And this is something that can be placed like on a pallet or on the ground, um, or even on a shelf stacked up together and then you can pair it with this is their e10000 model of inverter battery so this is the wall mounted piece and it's got a special bracket here on the back that makes it pretty easy to mount on the wall and you got battery expansion ports right here you got your state of charge indicators and communication uh, connectors down here very similar to a lot of things we've seen on the market right now we've got server rack batteries down here uh, but Eulerwit is the uh, the company and they've got some pretty interesting stuff so you may want to check them out who knows maybe I'll get to test some of this stuff out here in the near future and see how well it does they have a different setup for this main unit here you can do a 4800 watt output or a 9600 watt output depending on how many of them you put together so definitely some interesting equipment here and 
may be something that may be of uh, good use, but there's no pricing information here, so we'll have to look that up. All right, guys, I'm at the Imutu, as I said, Imutu uh, booth here, and they've got some pretty interesting batteries. So obviously they've got server rack batteries. So here you've got the 4,800 watt hour, 100 amp hour battery, and then a 200 amp hour battery. And they're telling me that this one here is only $500, which is an incredible price. So a huge bargain and it works with any server rack system. And so definitely a really good option. Uh, they're using grade A lithium iron phosphate cells. They are 48, all 48 volts and 4,000 cycles. So definitely long lasting, definitely doesn't seem very different than anything else that's out there, but could be a really good option if you're trying to save some money and you know need some expansion. I'm not sure how much this one would weigh here. It's gonna be quite hefty. These uh, server rack batteries are heavy enough on their own. These here are RV batteries, and these are meant to be drop-in replacements for any 12 volt. So they got different uh, amp hour capacities here. Uh, and then they've also got this power station. Now this power station, it's not expandable. It's very simple, but if you just needed some portable power, it's got a 1200 watt inverter, just under 1200 watt hours of battery capacity with about 600 watts of solar input. And it does have a full functioning UPS at 1200 watts of wall charging. So definitely a cool looking unit. Maybe I'll get this one to, to do some testing and stuff. I'm definitely interested in testing out these server rack batteries. I've been very impressed, uh, especially with their pricing and then what they're showing here. Gary, is there anything you want to tell anybody about your system or your company that you think would be important for them to know? Okay, so uh, nice to meet you. So our company is mainly for batteries. Okay. Uh, so we have our own battery cell factory. Uh, we have our own uh, battery systems so we make for this all by ourselves so we have this is our relative new product so uh, basically we are for the uh, oem business uh, okay. before now we have our develop our brand amoto and uh, we have uh, selling amazon yeah and uh, we are now developing this kind of products uh, on on retailers right. yeah so you're saying that they're their own company they make their own stuff they do all their own manufacturing brand is imutu uh, definitely check them out. Maybe get these to, to test out really soon. So I'm at the Shinji booth, I think is what it's called. I apologize if I mess up the name, but they've got their Mauwo series, which is this here, and then they've got this. And this is their MWP 3600. So it's got a 3600 watt inverter. It has the ability to link two of them together. It's got these big connectors here, and unfortunately, I'm not able to understand exactly what these do. I'm trying to talk with them. Um, but they got some great looking specs and you can put two of these together. I think this is supposed to be kind of like an EP500 Pro from Bluetti, kind of very similar to that. But it does have a 5,000 watt hour battery. The peak should be higher on this inverter, but you know maybe you don't need it that much. And it does have the ability to put two of them together for split phase, which is always great. And it's got a spot for expansion on the battery. This red thing is for opening it up. I'm not sure how that works, but apparently you can get to the internal access using that. This is the uh, extra battery expansion port. Uh, it does allow up to a thousand watts of solar input, I believe is what it said. And it's got the TT30 plug for the RV right here. So uh, pretty simple, but uh, good looking unit and maybe something that could work. I'm trying to understand exactly, it's got all the specs right here listed, but one of the cool things is that it has 120 volt outlets as well as a 240 volt outlet right here. And this outlet is rated up to 3,000 watts, and these are rated to 1,500 watts. So it's really interesting. And you'd have to select between which one that you want to go with here. But on the solar capacity on this one, you can see solar and car charging is 12 volts to 65 volts up to 20 amps. And it doesn't show the wattage right here. So I'm not sure how fast you can really recharge it on solar. It's pretty cool. I've not seen any other system that has a selection like this where it's so compact. The Zender Super Base V that's coming out is a much, much bigger system. And that's capable of actually running some heavy duty 240 volt equipment. So it'd be interesting to do some testing on this to see how much power this can actually put out. I mean, obviously 3000 watts, but I wanted to see if that's actually capable of doing it. So we may have to test this one as well. All right, guys, I'm here at the Ugreen booth. I'm actually not familiar with them. I've not seen these before. So this has 1200 watts, 600 watt, and 2200 watts. It looks like they got some ultra cap and maybe middle cap type solar generators here. Of course, we're mostly interested in the big one here. So I can see it's got 2200 watts output. Looks like tons of USB-C. And this is output 
12 volts, 25 amps. That's going to be uh, Anderson power pole, 12 volt there. It almost looks like it's expandable as far as the top here, but I don't see any expansion. Got a telescoping handle and cart and stuff that goes on. They're showing it here with this folding solar panel. What I'm trying to find out is the solar input capacity. So you can see here we got two XT60 solar inputs. It says 11 to 28 volts, 600 watts max. So I don't know how that's gonna work because that voltage is so low. That must mean it's high amps. I don't know. And then it's got an extra battery port right here. So it is expandable. So this top is meant for holding an extra battery. And it looks like they've got a ground connection that you can do right here. So pretty interesting. This U-Green system may be another one to test out here in the near future. All right guys, so I'm at Wire & Tech right now and they've got a bunch of different battery options and some RV options as well. So this is pretty interesting. You may be familiar with like the EG4 batteries. This would be something that is comparable with that, but they're saying it's even better. So we've got a server rack battery here. It's the same 5,120 watt hours, but it actually has a built-in fire arrestor in it. So for those who are concerned about fires or anything like that, overheating and stuff, that has a built-in arrestor so that way if there is any issue it would automatically extinguish itself and they're saying that these batteries go for one thousand one hundred dollars so an extremely extremely good price for over five kilowatt hours of battery capacity this is here is another rv battery so you would pair this with another inverter and this is almost 12 kilowatt hours right here so we've got a ton of battery capacity it's pretty incredible they've got your uh, typical 12 volt batteries that you can replace uh, in the storage box area of an rv but this right here is really interesting so this is a stackable battery system and this battery here is 10 kilowatt hours and this one is 5,000 watt hours and you can basically stack up as much as you want and it's even got a touch screen to tell you the voltage of every single cell and then they've got a server rack system and they said that you can put as many of these server racks together so you can make whatever size battery capacity you want now a single server rack does about 30 kilowatt hours or about 30,000 watt hours which for the typical house if you were just doing emergency backup power that's easily about three days of power still being quite comfortable but if you really wanted to go off grid, you could realistically do that, but you have to have enough solar to go with it, right? So this inverter here is an 8,000 watt inverter. It can do both 120 volt and 240 volt, but it's got 12,000 watts of solar input. So realistically, if you had 12,000 watts going into this, you could recharge an entire server bank battery in about two and a half to three hours, which is absolutely incredible in an emergency situation if you're using five or ten kilowatt hours a day you're gonna get anywhere from three to six days of stored battery capacity in a server rack system and then on top of that you could recharge it in a single day when it's sunny so that's pretty amazing they've also got this rooftop replacement air conditioner so you can get it in both 12 volt and 24 volts and this is gonna be a little bit more efficient well probably a lot more efficient than what you're using in an RV, just as your normal RV rooftop air conditioning unit. And so this is the outdoor unit, this is the indoor unit, and so you can direct the air anywhere you wanna go. They've got a lot of different options here. You may wanna check them out. I'm definitely very interested in the stackable batteries as well as the server rack batteries. If you guys want more information, go to wireintech.com um, or look them up online. And I think uh, you may be impressed with what they got. Thanks for being here, guys. Be prepared see you all in the next video.